Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto and welcome to another empties video on my channel. So I thought I would start off with uh, some bottles. So I went through one, uh, and this is hand sanitizer, one bottle of hand sanitizer. I do get this at the dollar store <clears throat> for $3. It's like the best price I can find and it is um, more than the percentage that I'm required to use um, in my province. So I think it's a really good deal. And then I also went through a bottle of preempt. Sorry, the lights are washing it out. <clears throat> now this is CS20. This is my chemical uh, sterilant, sterilant, uh, sterilant and high level disinfectant for medical devices and instruments. So this is what I cleanse all my cuticle pushers, my nippers, um, any of my metal instruments that I use on people. I clean with this. And then I also went through three bottles of 99% uh, alcohol or IPA. Um, so I get these in Costco. They come in a box of four. Um, and then so they're 500 milliliters. So that means when you get four, you get two liters and it's usually about $10 Canadian. So that is the better deal for me to get rather than buying it at a distributor. And then I also have through three bottles of dust off. Now I use this, like I do have a vent uh, that sucks out most of the dust, but there is sometimes just like little dust and stuff that gets around and I just get that off and then I can sweep it up and clean it up that way. And now for the bagged portion of uh, the empties, I went through one bag of the Silkline uh, Petty Bowl liners. Uh, this is the type of bowl that I use and these liners fit it perfectly so I went through one of those. Through one package of the non-woven epilating strips. You do know that I cut these in half and use them for wipes. And when I don't use these, I use these, the OPI Expert Touch. Uh, these are the exact same as the epilating strips, the wax strips. Uh, they have the same um, same feel, same density. Uh, these ones are just obviously pre-cut. Those ones I have to cut in half. I, I try and buy these on sale. And then if I can't get them on sale, I usually get these on sale. So uh, they're just the type of wipe that I prefer. I find they stand up really well. You're not getting gel on your skin or fingers. Um, they give a nice clean wipe. They don't leave streaks or anything like that. And then I also went through a box of Kirkland Nitrile Gloves in medium. That's the size that I like to use. And I also went through um, the sterilization pouches. This is the size I use for my nippers. Um, it's kind of like a bigger size and the nippers fit in it really, really well. And then, as you know, I do a lot of pedicures. If you've seen any of my empties videos before. So I went through one, two, three, four, five, five pounds of paraffin. Um, so I do a lot of pedicures. And then I also went through four bags of cotton rounds. I use those for pedicures. I use them for lash lift and tints. I use it for electrolysis. I use it for stamping with nails. These just have a lot of uses. I also get these from Costco. I get a lot of stuff from Costco. It's just generally your best deal when you're getting bulk supplies for your salon. So if you have a Costco near you, if you have a Costco card, stock up. I do have a what I buy at Costco uh, video. I'll link that below. And then I also went through a bag of mini buffers. These are those little pink ones. These guys, um, I love these. These are really good single use items. And this little bag actually had um, the competition length tips. I went through one bag of these. These usually have about 20 in them. And because I was competing this year, I went through one bag. I still have many other bags of them. And then I also went through a few of these bags, which this is what has my files. It's a holds 25 files. Um, I think I probably went through three bags, but I couldn't find the other bag to show you. Okay, now on to uh, the nail supplies that I've gone through. So I have gone through a bottle of Accents Black on, and this is what I use. It's a tack-free one coat black. I use this for chrome. It makes it so you don't have to have all those extra layers. So like doing like two coats of black and then a 
tack free top coat for your chrome this is like one and done um every chrome i use on it is just like amazing it looks fantastic i've gone through my favorite favorite ugly duckling matte top coat this is the best matte in my opinion i've tried so many and this is the only one that stays on the nail doesn't stain um and stays matte like those are the three things that I'm looking for in a matte top coat. And I have tried many, 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 many matte top coats. And this is the only one that does all of those things. So stays, doesn't stain, and stays matte. So I've also gone through a Luxio gloss. Um, an Enail Couture gloss. I won't be repurchasing this. Um, I had a few to kind of go through. And now that I've gone through them, I'm just going to stick with my regular uh, Shine On. And my Luxio gloss, those are kind of my favorite top coats. I've also gone through a Luxio base, and I've gone through a sample container of Young Nails Speed Clear. Uh, this is their acrylic line. Oh, that's coming through. <clears throat> I've gone through a small container of Balance Clear by Accents. Uh, this is what I like to build out my extensions with, and I have also gone through accents options uh, crystal clear uh, so I use this to put on my rhinestones just the flat backs not anything pointy back this just lasts so well it's like a builder and a gloss in one so it's kind of like one step when you do that I still like to sometimes put on top coat as well just to give that extra insurance but you don't really need to with this um, I've also gone through two jars of Enhance. This is my favorite to build with. It's flexible and strong and it just works really really well for me. So I've gone through two of those. I've also gone through one tube gel. Uh, so this is by Egoista. This is Wild Rose. Uh, I have uh, scraped it out as you can see. Um, this isn't a particularly nice color or anything. Um, I actually use this a lot for competitions for uh, building my hand in things. Um, so I like to kind of go through the colors I wouldn't normally use on a client and use those up for my competition pieces. They work really well, they cure really hard, and I don't have to worry about them feeling too delicate, I guess. Um, I've also gone through a bottle of cuticle oil. I don't think I'll be repurchasing um, this one. This is cranberry, which is one of my favorite smells. Um, I have found one that I really, really like. Um, I'll just grab it here. So this is the velvet oil from Profiles Backstage. It's actually like glittery, which is fun, but it just smells like this one. I can't remember what the smells, but it smells like peaches, but like peach trident, like the gum. Like, oh, uh, it's just kind of makes you like drool a little bit. I just love the smell. <laughs> And I've also gone through a bottle of Thymol. So um, <clears throat> I do make my own like cleansers um, just because it's more affordable and I know what's in them and I don't add any color or anything. So I make them with alcohol acetone and then I put a little bit of Thymol in them. I also use Thymol a lot with my pedicures. If I'm worried that anybody's getting fungal or anything like that, I, I use a kind of a higher concentration in my foot sprays when I do the pedicures just because this is an, a really good antifungal. So I have also gone through three Valentino vents and um, I have been really busy so <laughs> that's why I've gone through so many of those. I know I don't usually have that many. Um, and then I went through a flashlight. So this is one of those nail curing ones. Um, it was really good, I really liked it, but it got wet and so it doesn't work anymore, so that was my bad. This was like an AliExpress find, I think it was like maybe two bucks. So not the fault of AliExpress, it's my fault because I got it wet. Um, and then, um, so I went through some bits. Well, I actually went through these a long time ago. Uh, I got these bits kind of when I first started uh, doing nails. Um, back in like 2005 and I just never got rid of them because it was like kind of sentimental so this was like a cross cut diamond um backfill bit back when we used to do French like all the time that's all we ever did and then this was sold to me as kind of like a cleanup bit for underneath the nail um 
but we never use that for those now, do we? And this is like huge compared to like what we're using, the kind of flame style bits. But I kind of just kept them just kind of sentimental because they were super expensive and I didn't want to get rid of them. But <clears throat> I need room, so I'm getting rid of them now. And um, I'm also, oh yes, so this is a palette ring. It's kind of funky and gunky, and so I'm getting rid of it. I never really used it that much. Um, I usually just use a tile, but this was kind of cute when I got it, and I liked it a lot. It was like a little paw print, and you could put like different colors in there. Um, I got it off AliExpress, but um, I just prefer using a tile now. It's just easier, and I don't have to worry about tipping anything over. And I have some lash stuff that I've gone through, so I do use I do uh, lash lifts and tints. Uh, in my salon, so I went through a uh, Bella Lash Cleanser. Oh my gosh, let's see if I can get this label on here. So yeah, just a Bella Lash Cleaner. It takes the makeup off and cleans up the lashes before you do the tint. I went through, I went through one bottle of the glue for the pads, and then this one kind of just like gunked up. So I'm getting rid of that one, <clears throat> and I've gone through a full perm set. So that's your perm neutralizer and nourish. Uh, went through all that and then I've just gone through some lash pads that I just like can't really clean anymore um, They're just kind of a little crusty so they're done and then I switched out all my containers on uh, my Menda pumps so that they're all the same now So I used to have these like, cute pink ones with bows so I'm getting rid of these ones and then I had one plain one um, So now they're all like the kind of cute square or rectangle ones I think I've shown you in previous videos this is just the kind that I like now and so now the whole salon kind of has the same um, pumps and then I've gone through like a variety of brushes I went through some liner brushes they're just all bent up um, a little dotting tool kind of like a detail brush um, a really expensive real bird detail brush um, just a gel brush all funked up. Um, another art brush that I've cut to death. Another detail brush. And then um, an acrylic kind of 3D brush. Um, totally got some product um, in there. So that one's wrecked. Also, I used to have this on my desk. And this is what I had all my brushes in, my cuticle oil, um, some different primers and stuff so I got rid of that I'm doing something different and if you do want a new desk tour um, just let me know and I will let you know what's going on with my desk and then the last thing that I've gone through I kind of almost forgot about it was the captions uh, drying drops so I do do some polished pedicures and some polished manis not a whole lot but when I do I like them to dry fast so I like to use these drying drops they actually do work um, I didn't rebuy these because the distributor that I buy them from doesn't carry this anymore, so I got the OPI version. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you all later. Bye-bye.